And then the question is, what is it? What is uh, petroleum? Petroleum is a mixture, like coal was a solid mixture. Um, pet uh, petroleum is a liquid mixture. It's not a pure substance. It's a liquid mixture composed of thousands of compounds. And depending on where you're getting your petroleum from, the, the actual percentages of those compounds varies. But it is a liquid mixture. Okay. And um, of those thousands of compounds, most of them are hydrocarbons. Okay. There's thousands of different ways to arrange um, carbons and hydrogens. Um, oh, I said it right here. There's most, it's mostly hydrocarbons. And so um, uh, what happens is the petroleum is removed from the ground and it's, it's, it's easier, to, well, it's harder to get to than coal, but um, it's easier to transport because you can just um, pump it through pipelines um, from place to place. And um, so in that regard, it's, it's easier to manage. But then once you get it, um, like for example, coal, um, most of the coal that we dig out of the ground is just put on trains, taken to the power plants, and just burned as is. Some of the lighter coals, the browner coals, are um, processed a little bit beforehand to get rid of some of the sulfur and other contaminants. But, but the hydrocarbons, or the, excuse me, the petroleum, really needs to be processed before it's useful. And so it's um, normally um, either by tanker, if it's coming from the ocean, or even from pipeline from the ocean sometimes, or pipeline from wherever it sources, it's piped to refineries. And at the refinery, um, the, the mixture is separated by physical process in a physical separation a technique called distillation. So it's separated in refineries into fractions, and sometimes it's, it's um, they say it undergoes frax fractionation. And that word fractionation or fractioning just means to separate it into different um, liquid mixtures um, based on the properties. Okay, so, um, and the technique that's used to fractionate um, the petroleum is a technique called distillation. And distillation is a method of separating liquids based on the boiling point. Okay, the boiling points of the liquids. And as it turns out, <clears throat> in the liquid mixture that is petroleum, some of the compounds, um, the hydrocarbons vary in chain length from one carbon to 60 carbons um, in their, in their uh, molecule. And so the smaller ones have uh, lower boiling points, and the bigger ones, the heavier hydrocarbons, have higher boiling points. So um, you can uh, start boiling the, the liquid, and it's transitioning from a liquid to a gas, and then start cooling it across a, um, a tower, and the heavier things, because they have the higher boiling points, will liquefy, and you separate the liquid from the rest of the gas. That's the concept of distillation. So um, it's used a lot in chemistry to separate liquid mixtures. So if you say you have a, a, a heater source down here, you have some flame down here, um, and this is your, your distillation um, tank, and you've got the liquid in here, and it starts boiling, and then the gases go up a tower, and then you cool the tower, it's different temperatures, and so the heavier fractions will liquefy first and drip down into a collection container over here, and you'll collect the liquid here, and then, the, and then you'll have a different um, temperature here. The lighter uh, liquids will then liquefy and drop down there. So that's this, these different um, sections would be your different fractions. Okay, this is a fraction, say one, this is say fraction two, and you have many, many different fractions, and that's how you separate the liquid mixture. You have to, in order to, um, to, to, to have it, um, the liquid be useful, because there's different um, uses for different sizes of the hydrocarbons. So you guys, those of you who live um, near the coast have probably seen um, a, uh, an oil refinery before. This is an oil refinery, and this column right here is the distillation tower or distillation column. And so this is a schematic diagram of what it looks like on the outside, this big, big column. Okay, and so um, you have a place, the crude oil, um, petroleum is also called crude or crude oil. The petroleum is pumped into the burnt, the boiler, petrol, petroleum, or crude oil. Um, let's get a bigger picture of this. I just want to show you, this is what it looks like from the outside. This is a schematic diagram. Let's look at a bigger picture of the schematic diagram. There we go. That's better. Um, so the crude oil or the petroleum is pumped in. All right. Um, and it's all mixed here. 
in the in the boiler and so the liquid um, boils and then this is your distillation column some of it is really um, it's just going to become kind of more viscous uh, when you start boiling it if it's not hot it's almost like a solid but it's going to um, settle to the bottom that the ones with the chain length are more than 20 carbons and that's the asphalt that's going to come off the bottom of the distillation um, um, column and then you get to the next level and those are going to be your industrial lubricants and then the next layer up above that is going to be um, gasoline a jet fuel diesel, um, LRG gasoline, um, LRG stands for liquefied refined gas, all right that's going to come down, then they're going to move up to the gasoline part, um, then you can have diesel, jet fuel, gasoline, and LRG. LRG is liquefied refining gas, uh, liquefied refining gas, let me see, liquefied, liquefied, Liquefied refining gas. Okay. See what it is is the top C1 through C4. That's methane, um, ethane, propane, and butane. Those are all gases at room temperature and pressure. So when it's mixed in underground, under a lot of pressure with the rest of the petroleum, um, deep underground, it it could exist as a liquid under a lot of pressure, um, and then it's it's. Then when it's brought above ground, it's going to, as soon as it's given the opportunity, it's going to separate from the liquid mixture, so it's going to go right to the top of the, of the distillation column. Um, it has the lowest boiling point, and it's a gas, actually, at room temperature and pressure. And then you get to the, the next fraction down, C5 through C12, that's, that's the fraction where we find gasoline in, in, this, um, in this fraction, because the most common um, octane is what we call gasoline, but it's really a, a mixture. And then um, jet fuel is heavier, and then the diesel fuel is even heavier. It's oilier. If you've ever seen diesel fuel versus um, gasoline, it's a it's an oilier um, liquid uh, mixture. Now this business down here, gasoline, jet fuel, diesel, LRG, gasoline. This is because what these heavier um, hydrocarbons, C15 through C18, really uh, don't have a lot of commercial value as they are. So they are put into this. Um, situation called a cracker and then they are um, changed into gasoline. I'll, I'll tell you details about how that works um, in a minute. So it's heavier, it comes off at a, at a lower fraction, but then we do something to it to modify it and then it's going to go up um, and join in with this fraction right here. Okay, so um, same with the gases, this LRG um, is where we've liqu liquefied um, some of these gases. Um, and reformer, that's another process where they take the, um, frac the um, hydrocarbons as they are and then chemically modify them in a process called reforming. So we'll come back to the reforming and the cracking um, in a minute. But for now, I just want you to know that this is a, a physical separation technique based on boiling point. Get everything boiling and then the lower, uh, or the, excuse me, the higher um, boiling points when you start cooling it, they'll liquefy first and then you separate them off. So they're called fractions. The process is called distillation and it's a way to separate um, that very complicated uh, liquid mixture.